We all like getting new things. And with the birth of globalization, e-commerce and online shopping, it's easier than ever before. But how often do we stop to think about where our products are coming from? And what happens when you get bored and just throw them away? Do we shop with a conscience? The 21st century consumer craze thirst for shopping is a trend that shows no signs of slowing down. Quite the opposite, in fact. Retail sales prove resilient year after year, as consumers shopped online in ever-increasing numbers. It's true to say that shopping today is much more complex and its social and environmental impacts are much more wide-ranging than ever before. Because of this, there's a lot more at stake. Therefore, it's up to us as individual consumers to make more informed choices about what we buy and from whom. It is our shared responsibility to choose which companies we support based on their social responsibilities, rather than their brand image, price tag, or simply just out of a habit. And it's not overly dramatic to say that our future depends on it. Of course, this raises two important questions. How can we, as consumers, begin making more informed choices about what we buy? And what changes can we make in our daily lives that can actually make a difference? The first question is easy to answer if you know what you're looking for. There are three important considerations when making buying decisions. First, fair trade. Second, sustainably sourced products. And third, locally sourced products. One of the most important things that we can all do is research which companies we currently buy from and then make informed choices about who we continue to support and who we don't. One of the most widely accepted marks of quality in terms of ensuring the ethical production of goods is the fair trade mark. For those of you who don't already know, fair trade products are made by small scale farmers who do their best to cause as little negative environmental impact as possible. There are currently thousands of fair trade products in the global market, such as bananas, coffee, cacao beans, sugar, and many, many more. Maybe next time you're out in the supermarket, look out for the fair trade logo. You've probably seen it before, but never actually noticed it. The next thing to consider is whether or not the products you're buying are sustainably sourced. Sustainably sourced goods are those which provide environmental, social, and economical benefits. In other words, they're made from things that nature can handle. This matters as the impact on the environment is much less than a conventional farming and production. And is made from bamboo, for example, one of the most frequently used and most sustainable materials out there, can recycle it at the end of its life cycle without any damage to the environment at all. Now, I'm not saying that you know, go out and throw all your furniture away and start replacing with bamboo beds, sofas, tables, or start wearing clothes made from recycled paper. But I, what I am trying to say is that with just a little bit of research, not necessarily any more money, you'll find a whole new ocean of alternative, high quality products to the ones you currently use. And you might be surprised by some of the results. The good news is that, although all of these products are available from all over the world and can be delivered right to your front doorstep, lots of them, especially food, is available locally. Buying local has many obvious benefits. Firstly, you minimize the distance that the goods have to travel to get to you which means it doesn't have to be shipped by boat or plane. Secondly, by buying locally, you're encouraging your local farmers 
and businesses. And over time, that leads to a growth in your local economy. And that's good news for everyone. Now to the second question. What can we as individual consumers do to make an impact on the environment? Let's start with my family and some of the ways in which we've taken action. We tried our best to buy products that are produced locally instead of those that have been shipped across the world. As a result, we feel good knowing that we're doing our tiny little bit to help reduce CO2 emissions, which prevents further global warming. We buy products that are more ethically produced and kinder to the environment in general, such as fair trade products. When we're online and or on the local supermarket, all we have to do is keep our eye out for that little logo. And if, say, we want a bunch of bananas and we have the choice between those that are fair trade and those that are not, we'll choose the fair trade ones, even if it costs that tiny bit extra. Because we know that a little bit extra will benefit the farmers who grow and harvest the bananas. If we can't find anything that's fair trade, sustainable, or local, we might initially select something else and then jump online and research the company. There are now even apps that help you do this. You can look up the environmental and social impacts that the company has on the environment. And from there, decide whether or not you will support the company. After all, we don't want to be supporting companies that harm the environment or damage the quality of life for others on this planet that we share. And I guess neither do you. Personally, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't all do our little bit. So next time you have to make a purchasing decision, do a little bit of research, explore the options, and choose mindfully. No one needs to be perfect. We're certainly not. But I'd say that right now, with the future of our planet in jeopardy, we all have a responsibility to begin shopping with a conscience. If we do so, we'll help support the livelihoods of those in need, protect the environment, and sustain a stable, bright, and healthy future. It's a win-win situation. But whether it's sustainable or not depends on the decisions that each and every one of us makes from this day forward. So next time you're out shopping, bring your conscience along with a reasonable bag. Thank you.